sticking with us and watch these good looking dudes. It's the Adidas Action 3 Sexiest Men in League competition. Oh. Robbie Kearns. <laughs> Robbie, <laughs> Robbie Kearns. We'll see Peter Casillas soon and, and those sort of blokes. Jeff Robinson will turn up. Now, uh, this week it's uh, Manly's Brett Stewart and former Seagull Spunk, Jack Elsgood, in action. to describe myself in three words, I'd say I was happy, relaxed, and friendly. The most romantic thing I've ever done is sing to my wife on our wedding day. And, yeah, and I surprised her that she didn't know what was coming. Probably my worst feature would be my collarbone. Just broke it during a game and got a big plate chucked on it, so lovely. The highlight of my life so far would have to be the birth of my daughter, Riley. She just helps me to be a better person. My hobbies outside rugby league would probably be singing. I was recently on footy show Stoppers with the Pipe Brothers from our club. If I was down to my last $10, I'd buy some rice, a big bag of rice, and some sauce. I could live off that for a couple of weeks. <laughs> Jack Ellsgood, a former Sexiest Man in the League contestant. Since retiring in 2001, I've been competitively car racing for Coopers. I race a V8 Ute. Uh, I'm just trying to obviously progress from there and make them V8 supercars. I'm also a principal at Delmage Residential at Newport. Delmage Residential, Jack speaking. As far as the modelling career, no, it never took off. Had some fun with it, but um, really not my go. Making the final of the Sexiest Man was the pinnacle of my career. Um, other than that, I'd have to say that um, a game that I played against Canberra the week after my father passed was probably a highlight. When I look back on it, I suppose, just the support that I got from, from the team within and also the club. It was, a, it was a critical game we managed to win and I'd say that's probably another highlight. As far as who's going to win this year's Sexiest Man, I've seen the girls flock to Brett Stewart, so I'd say Brett will win. date would probably be a little bit of uh, ice skating. Uh, followed by maybe Pizza Hut and then a movie and then bedtime. My most embarrassing moment would probably be when Nathan Hindmarsh pulled me footy strides halfway down from the leg. The camera only got a, a shot from the back but probably would have been a different side if it was from the front. My life motto would be tough times don't last, tough people do. Uh, a coach of mine when I was younger taught me that and it's always been in the back of my mind. Most annoying teammate would have to be Travis Burns. <laughs> <laughs> He's enjoying this, aren't you? But in saying that, very funny man. <laughs> uh, hopefully in 10 years time, um, I'm retired, living on the northern beaches in a mansion. The Sexiest Man in League competition continues on the footy show in the next few weeks. For more information, go to the Sunday Telegraph. Uh, read this week's Sunday Telegraph. Go to that website, <laughs> sexiestmaninleague.com.au. You won't find myself or NG uh, there. But, Sam, you're obviously in that. Now, mate, you, is there anything you can't do? You can sing, you change nappies, you cook, you do everything. <laughs> is there anything you're not good at? Oh, yeah, I was really uncomfortable that, doing that, but um, I mainly jumped into it because... Um, I got pushed by the wife a bit, so, He's so I, bl I blame him. Sure. Well, you just, <laughs> don't you just want to love him and cuddle yeah. him and take and, him home? And I, uh, <laughs> I hated the way that the cameras barged in when you are on that bench press with the singlet on. You know, they just caught you by surprise. There, so. Yeah, no, I had no idea it was there. Now, Brett Stewart, since that shoot, uh, Brett Stewart's sort of got a few additions to his face. 